All right, here is a neat little ESP8266 project I've got for you guys. It will be completely self-contained, no computer required. And what we're gonna build is a little network scanner. So we've got our D1 board here, and we've got a uh, 0.96 OLED display. And if you look here, you can see our connections. Oopsies, don't want to focus there, does she? Okay, there we go. We've got five volt ground for our power to the OLED and SDL and SDA. And really, that's it. There's nothing to it. The code is just about as simple. So let's go take a look at the code and then we'll come back and check it out in action. All right, let's take a look at the code for the Wemos D1 R2 Wi-Fi network scanner. And I've switched over to Pastebin, and you can find this code at that address, and I'll put it down below in the description. So three includes wire for the I squared C communication, Adafruit SSD 1306 to drive the OLED, and ESP8266 Wi-Fi for all of our Wi-Fi goodness. Now here we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit SSD 1306 called Display. And right here is the only real difference from using this with any other Arduino. Instead of having the OLED reset here, you need to put LED built in. Don't ask me why, it just works. If you leave it at OLED reset, it's no bueno. All right, in our setup, display begin SSD 1306 switch APVCC. And here's the important bit you need to change your address to the hex address of OX3C. Then display display, which will show us the Adafruit logo. Show it for two seconds. Then we're going to clear the display. We're going to set our Wi Fi mode, disconnect from the Wi Fi and have a short wait. Next, we're going to begin each loop by clearing the display so nothing gets overwritten. Set our text to the smallest size, our color to white, and display set cursor 00. zero. We're going to put it in the upper left. Now we're going to create an integer variable called n, which will be equal to Wi-Fi scan networks, which will tell us how many networks are available. Then we're going to print our title, and we're going to say if n equals zero, so if there are no networks available, we will display print line no networks found and send that to the buffer. Otherwise, we're going to display print n, the number of networks found, and then we're going to print with a space networks found, so it'll say like one networks found, four networks found, you get the idea. Then we'll set up a for loop for the number of networks then we will print first network colon in a space its SSID which of course is the network name little spacing parentheses then we will print its RSSI which is basically the signal strength we we'll end our parentheses and if there is an encryption type we'll print the encryption type We'll print a blank line and we'll show everything that was in the buffer. Wait five seconds and do it all again. Now you can see down here the sketch uses 22% of our program storage space and 40% of the dynamic memory. The um, ESP8266 chip has a lot more memory than your standard Arduino, but it seems to use up a lot of it in overhead. All right, let's go take a look at it in action. Alrighty, we've got our code uploaded and ready. And like I said, this is a completely self-contained unit, which requires no computer. So I've got a cell phone power bank here. We'll plug her in. You know, I can never get these USB plugs right. And 
there you have it. Let's zoom in so you guys can get a nicer view of that. Wi-Fi scanner. Two networks found. There's the network's names. Their RSS IDs and their security types. So there she is. It's pretty cool. Nice, easy little project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why not give me a thumbs up? Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys later.